do it often is where we get a lot of pushback. And and like you say, Charles, I, I loved your example where you said, how many times at the end of the day have you gone home to your family and said, man, I got way too much appreciation today. <laughs> you know, so they're bringing me cakes and balloons and flax. And, you know, here's a couple of tickets to Hawaii. You know, I couldn't get anything done. I definitely have to work from home tomorrow. You look at all the surveys, you know, Gallup has uh, done wonderful surveys and Deloitte and go on and on, Willis Towers Watson. If you look at, was I recognized in the last seven days by my manager? It's almost always near the bottom. So, you know, yes, do it often. Now, to your earlier point, which was very insightful, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. You know, you say, oh, yeah, I give lots of recognition, you know. Uh, every day I come in and go, hey, great job, great job, great job. Charles, you're killing it, man. You are the best. You are the Tower of Pisa, <laughs> you know. Well, you know, one of the things we coach leaders up on is general praise has no impact. Uh, specificity has great impact, you know, which is the third one, right? Do it now, do it often, be specific. Don't just say, hey, you're doing great, champ. You know, I just love having your hair. You know, <laughs> it just doesn't mean anything. So what what is it that I did so I can replicate that behavior again? Hey, I love what you did with that customer. You, they came in, they were pretty upset. You explained the warranty that we'd replace the product, you know, whatever the situation might be. And they left, you know, skipping and laughing. They'll be a customer for life. 